Oh my, what do I have here? Well, there's still leftover sauerkraut from last week's recipe. So what we have today is baked sauerkraut, sausage, and potato hash. <laughs> this is a nice hearty dish. Like you got the sauerkraut, potato, a little bit of onion, uh, some nice sausages in there, and then cheese melting across the top and just starting to brown nicely. Mmm. Oh, just the balance of flavors. Delicious. Let's go in the kitchen and make some right now. All right, to make our hash, what we've got here is, first of all, I've got two pounds or 900 grams of potatoes, and I've cut those up into small pieces, basically sliced them about a quarter inch or five millimeters thick and then quartered them, or if they're bigger potatoes, might cut them up even smaller. Yeah, about a uniform thickness, so they'll cook evenly. And then over here, I've got uh, one pound or 450 grams of sausages. And uh, these ones are also been cut a quarter inch thick. These are the pre-cooked type. You know, they're already cooked. Uh, they're just going to be browning a little bit in there. And then I've got the sauerkraut, and that is two cups of sauerkraut drained and then, you know, packed them into the measuring cup when you're measuring sauerkraut because it kind of you know, bounces up. But you pack it down, it's two packed cups of that. Uh, what I've got here is I've got a uh, half a pound or eight ounces or 230 grams of Gouda cheese grated. I've got one onion, which has been um, well, more finely chopped than usual. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Now, this is not the Dijonese, this is the Dijon mustard. Make sure you check out the video uh, focused on ingredients where I talk about the difference between Dijonese, Dijon, and other mustards. So this is the Dijon mustard. It's a little sharper. Uh, two tablespoons of that. One teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of butter, which is going in here right now into the frying pan. And we're going to bring that up, medium heat. All right, push that butter around, melt it a bit quicker. Now, uh, today I'm cooking in the regular frying pan, and <coughs> sorry, I'm going to use the uh, my my usual my big 13 by nine casserole dish. You could do this, like sometimes I do it in that cast iron frying pan and just put the cast iron frying pan in the oven. But here I want I want a little more surface for cheese. I want lots of cheese spread across here, so I'm going with the uh, wider pan. But either would be okay. All right, so we'll get this melted. Okay, so the butter is basically melted. Let's get the onions in there. So in goes the onions. Push that around a little bit. Get that mixed in there. And I'm gonna to toss in the uh, potatoes. Mm -mm -mm. What I'm gonna do first is just, I wanna brown the potatoes a bit and the onions. So what I'm going to do here, we'll do this for about five minutes and then we'll come back and add the sausages and go another 10 minutes. Just get everything nicely cooked and then start to put it together. I've been stirring and turning these for just occasionally for about five minutes and we've got some browning happening here. Not much because it's only been five minutes but we're softening the onions and we're softening the potatoes. So now also we have a bit more room because it's cooked down just a little bit. So in go the, uh, so, well first let's get in the pepper and salt so it's easier to spread around. And then we're gonna put in those sausages. So uh, just gotta mix around and get some of that pepper and salt distributed. It'll distribute more as I'm cooking and turning once I get the sausages in here, but so initially get it uh, all over the place. Okay, in goes the sausages. Oh, this is going to be a hearty meal. And all I'm going to do now is for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to stir it, flip it, turn it, get those sausages down inside there, mix it around, cook it for 10 minutes, go on medium heat, and then we're going to put it all together and into the uh, casserole dish. All right, look at that. That's some nice browning happening there. Delicious, smelling good. The potatoes are basically cooked. They're not fully cooked yet. 
but now it's going to go in the oven so they will be fully cooked then. Fantastic. All right, so I'll leave that for a minute. What I've got here is I've brought in a big bowl and I'm going to toss the sauerkraut in there. All that sauerkraut in there. And the Dijon mustard. Get that on top of the sauerkraut. All right. I'm just going to mix that into the sauerkraut. Just kind of have to chop and turn because you know sauerkraut has got a lot of fiber, so work it in there. Maybe you just want to distribute the mustard throughout the sauerkraut. All right, that's looking good. So now I'm going to turn that heat off, and all this goes in here. Oh yeah. This way I can toss and get that sauerkraut mixed throughout. Oh, that's looking good. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then, oh, man overboard. Bring in the uh, 13 by nine um, casserole dish. And all I'm gonna do is just dump this in there and then spread it out. I'll get the, the sausages up on top here. There are a little too many in one spot. All right, there we go. Get it evened out. Now, over there, the oven is heating up at 375 degrees Fahrenheit or uh, 190 degrees Celsius. This is going to go into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes until the cheese on top is all nicely browned and bubbling. Oh yeah, that looks pretty even. So now what you do is take this cheese and just spread it all over the top. Oh, that's going to be nice. That'll all melt down into there. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. That's going to go in the oven, you too, and I'll see you in about half an hour. Uh, that's been 30 minutes in the oven, and as you can see, it is absolutely perfect. That's going to be delicious. We've got the sausages in here, cheese melting and browning, potatoes, sauerkraut. Enjoy that. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you can get the free printable recipe for baked sauerkraut, sausage, and potato hash on our website. And if you're enjoying the recipe videos, please consider becoming a patron so I can keep making these for you. Now, go print out the recipe, have fun making and eating this delicious hash, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. Yeah.